Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with you today with an article from Breitbart. This is dated July 24th, and it is entitled, 17 Facts Expose Kamala Harris's Far Left Record. And this article is actually going to be pretty quick. It's just going to have the uh, list of 17 a little further down with links to every single thing. We're not going to go through all that because otherwise this article would be like two and a half hours long. So we'll just kind of, you know go through the actual uh, brief summary of what it says about them, which is really just one sentence, and then the article will be linked in the description below, and you can certainly go ahead and click on it and search for yourself when you get to the, uh, the links that we'll get to in just a moment. It says, Vice President Kamala Harris is not a moderate. GovTrack's scorecard ranked her as the most radical senator in 2019, further left and socialist Senator Bernie Sanders, and leading writers of the New York Times rated Harris as the least electable of 10 possible Democrat nominees. And by the way, this GovTrack group, whoever they are, they actually scrubbed their website so that she's not showing as this anymore. So, you know, 1984 is real, folks. Says it is unlikely Harris will campaign on her record because she doesn't friggin' have one. Says her policies are unlikely to resonate with voters in swing states or overcome objections about voters' diminished standard of living under the Biden Harris administration. A majority of voters, that's 51%, believe their financial position is worse off under the Biden Harris administration's economic policies, a Financial Times slash Michigan Ross poll found in May. And the link is there under the word found if you want to go ahead and check that out. As Harris championed the administration's record of policy blunders on Monday in her first appearance since jumping into the Democrat primary race. As Joe Biden's legacy of accomplishment over the past three years is unmatched in modern history, she claimed, asking people to clap. And no one was clapping because this is bullshit. As in one term, he has already, yes, you may clap. There we go, her Jeb Bush moment. In one term, he has already surpassed the legacy of most presidents who have served two terms in office. That is about the biggest bunch of crap anybody's ever heard. Um, so it says, below are 17 examples of Harris's far left record. So as you can see, there is a link in each one of these 17 things. I'm just going to read them off here, but you can certainly go ahead and click on them uh, yourself, because again, the link is in the description below. So here goes, deep breath. It says, number one, co-sponsored legis legislation to protect illegal immigrants from deportation. Two, backed Bernie Sanders' Medicare for all legislation. Three, backed banning private health insurance. Four, supported giving taxpayer-funded coverage to illegal immigrants. Yeah, taking, there's nothing like taking your money and giving it to people who are not citizens. This support, number five is supporting banning fracking. Six is back to funding the police. Seven, compared ICE to the KKK. Eight, wanted to ban plastic straws. Nine, defended banning offshore drilling. Ten, wanted to undo the Trump administration's border security, taking 94 executive actions in their first 100 days to rescind nearly every Trump-era measure, and you spelled nearly as nearly, but I know what you meant. Eleven, supporting decriminalizing illegal border crossings. Twelve, said she wouldn't treat illegal aliens as criminals. I mean, they're illegal aliens. The, word, the key word there is illegal, and, you know, the very first thing they're doing they come into this country is an illegal act, so they are all, literally all of them are criminals, no matter how innocent some of them may be. So number 13, called for starting ICE from scratch, or called for starting, what is it, starting ICE from scratch? I don't know what that, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I know ICE, like Immigration Customs Enforcement, what, like starting them over or something? I don't know. Okay, anyway, 14, argued that temporarily closing the border violated federal law. 15, Raised money for the Minnesota Freedom Fund, a far-left organization that pays the bailout, uh, bail out of jail violent criminals, including accused murderers and rapists. And I'm going to stop there for a second. You're already starting to see that one getting erased, too. There was actually a uh, news station in Minnesota that uh, said that she she never donated to them. And then people found all of her actual uh, her tweet, or I shouldn't say all of her tweets, but her tweet saying, with the link saying to donate to the Minnesota Freedom Fund. Uh, so it was like, good job, guys. But yeah, those are the people that were burning down Minneapolis in the George, George Floyd riots. Okay, the people that were released in the Minnesota Freedom Fund. So she's responsible for that. I'm sure that'll play great in Minnesota. Um, says, number 16, supported Los Angeles' cuts to their police department. Yeah, how's that going, L.A.? And number 17, called efforts to add more police to the streets for wrong-headed thinking. So this woman is, well, like I said before, she is a communist. So this is all commie, far-left stuff. And this should be blasted out there. Make sure everybody knows who this person really is. So that's it. Again, short article. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Definitely take a minute, if you don't believe any of this, to click on those links to see what she supports. And that's it. I will talk to you soon. Like, share, subscribe. Again, talk to you soon. Bye.